Hi everyone, this is Sumit here and welcome to my channel Excel with Sumit. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate multiple matches using VLOOKUP in Excel. For example here, you have a table which has employee name and there are many employee with the same name. For example, John is repeated here 4 times. Similarly, we have multiple Alice. Similarly, we have multiple Emily. And then we want to look up every value of the name. For example here, we want to find what is the output of the first value matching with John what is the value matching with second value of John and so on. Similarly, we want to find the every matches for the name listed here. For example, we want the second, third and fourth value matching with the list and similarly for Mark. Generally, in our raw data, whenever we are doing a VLOOKUP, we always find that there are multiple entries of the same name and in the output, we want to find out all the listed item matching with the lookup value. So, in this video, I'll explain how to do that step by step. In this requirement, we have three columns where we have employee name, department and salary and here we want all the entry which are matching with the name for the department column and then again we want all the salary matching with the employee name which are repeated in this table here. So let's go ahead and fulfilling this requirement. To start with, we should always add two columns before the table. Here I have already added two columns but if you don't have two columns before the table name, you can add this by selecting the column and right clicking the column and pressing insert button. By this you'll get an extra column before the table. In the first column, just adjacent to the employee name, you will write a formula called count IFS. So we will write is equal to COUNT IFS. Press tab, we'll select the employee name here. We we'll press colon. We see that again the same name is being repeated. Now we will lock the first value in this range. For example here it is C7 to C7. So we will lock the first C7 by pressing F4 key. Now we will go at the last and we will press again comma and then again we will select the same cell. For example here John and then we will close the round bracket and then we will press enter. We will drag this formula till the bottom. Basically what this formula does is that it will count the name which is repeated here. For example here John is first time repeated here so it will be 1 here. Now wherever we have John second time it will present second and similarly for John it will be third here and then fourth will be here and then fifth will be here. Similarly for Emily, Emily is first here, second will be here, third will be here and fourth is here and then it continues this activity for all the employee name. Now here in the adjacent column we will concatenate both value John and the number. So we will write is equal to, we will select the cell with the name John we will press M% and then we will select the numbering column. So for example here, we will select the cell which has the first number. We will select the cell. Now we will press enter. Now we will drag the formula till the bottom. This completes the preparation for the table name. Now we will go in the output. Here in the output we want the first department which is based on the value John. Now again we want the second department for the value John and similarly for all the repeated values. So here we'll write VLOOKUP formula. We'll write is equal to VLOOKUP, press tab. Now we want to look up John as well as the repeated value. So we'll select here John, we'll press F4 three times, F4, F4, F4. We are doing this because when we will drag this formula towards the right, we want John to be fixed. But when we want the formula to be dragged towards the bottom, John should not be fixed. We'll write M% and then we'll select the repeated value. For example, here we'll select this cell which has 1. We'll lock this cell by pressing F4 two times, F4, F4. We're locking this only 7 here. Basically, it means that we don't want to lock 1 to 2, 2 to 3. But we want to lock when we drag the formula towards the bottom. Now we'll press comma. We'll select the entire table which has the first column as the name as well as the concatenate of the repeated number. We'll press F4. We'll press comma. Now here we want the department column. So department is first column, second column and the third column. So the department is in the third column. We'll press number 3. We'll press comma. We'll press 0. We'll close the bracket and we'll press enter. We see that we have got the value of the department of John which is present here. Now we can drag the formula towards the right. We see that the second repeated value of John is IT. The third one is sales. The fourth one is IT and the fifth one is HR. Similarly, we have got the right output here. Now we can select the cells and we can drag down the value for the other names and we see that we have got the requirement. Here Alice is repeated only four times and the fifth time it is not present so we are getting an error. Similarly, Mark is repeated only three times and fourth and fifth doesn't exist. We can see here the first department of Mark is IT, the second department of Mark is HR and the third department is Finance and we don't have the fourth value of Mark. Now let's repeat this formula 
to get the salary for all the matches. So we'll write is equal to, we'll look up, we'll again select the cell John, we'll press F4 three times, F4, 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 F4 and we'll press M percent, we'll select the repeated value numbers. So we'll select the cell with one number, we'll press F4 two times, F4, F4, we'll press comma. Now we'll again select the cell where the first column should have the name and the repeated value. We'll press F4, we'll press comma. Here we need salary which is the first, second, third and fourth column. So we'll write number 4, we'll press comma, we'll press 0, we'll close the bracket, we'll press enter. Now we can drag the formula towards the right and drag the formula towards the bottom. We see that we have got the value. For example, the salary of Mark for the first repeated number is 62,000, the second is 56,000 and the third is 61,000. In this way you can find multiple matches with VLOOKUP in Excel.